Well hi folks and uh, welcome back to Colour on Your Life, a little bit more casual today. But I'm uh, going to be showing you how to draw a, uh, it's a leprechaun, it's, believe it or not. Uh, and the reason I'm doing that is I just wanted to go over shapes and what you can actually do with your imagination. Putting together those various shapes that we start from, whether it be a square or a triangle or a circle or a rhombus or something like that, to potentially create uh, an idea. Um, and that's a lot of what I do, as you well know, is, is conceptual art. Um, I tend to sort of put different characters together to build up the work that I do. And it's a lot of fun. Uh, it's not for everybody. As I said, I, I still admire a great deal the work that uh, landscape and portrait artists do, still life, um, tremendous stuff, um, impressionist work. But I do like putting the ideas together. So. What I'm going to be doing today is, uh, as I said, just using those shapes to start with and then you can follow through with me and uh, we'll take it from there. But uh, I'll get to the board and we'll make a start. Just using some basic formulas, just using our shapes to make a start on what we want to do. And you can just about, you can just about to draw anything. But what I am going to do today is, uh, is literally, uh, I'm going to make this, just make this up as I go along, um, starting with a triangle. And as I said, they're just shapes. And as you can see, just by using your imagination, um, they can get quite quite more complex than this. I haven't put the source of light in yet, which is always very important. I see a lot of artists drawing, and the, one of the most important things you can do in your artwork is to have a command over the source of light. Where is it coming from? So what I'm going to do is um, put a little bit more life into his eyes. And you know, if you see somebody that's older, they tend to have, like me these days, that's distressing. They tend to have bags in their eyes. If I want to at some stage, I can come back and use this as a bit of a draft to go over the rest of the work. Which way is my source of light coming from? Uh, I'm gonna make, bring it across this way. So, or actually I'll do it the other way because I'm about to darken this area up. So, I'll do it this way. You've always got that sort of little, there's a little shadow on the bottom of the nose there. Sort of a little bit of a grimace. It looks like he's done a happy little record. And if you can have a variety of pencils for doing this, you'll find that uh, you get much better results. see it starting to come into shape. I'll bring these out a little bit more. Put a bit more character in the hat. Like um, it's been sort of a little, little bit more gnarled. So instead of sticking to the triangle, the triangle was just there to, to aid me in what I needed to do. Yeah, 
as you can see, we're sort of, sort of randomly going from spot to spot to get the job done that I want. This is how characters and ideas are created and put together. I always remember um, Brian Froud and Alan Lee and the Dark Crystal and uh, Star Wars, a lot of the characters there. I used to draw a lot of these characters when I was a kid. And uh, what a fun because it's you can explore your mind. And it just keeps your um, your skills, your drawing skills in in good reckoning as well. Yeah. But as you can see now, face is starting to come out. I said before, I mean, make sure you have a, an array of pencils if you're going to do work like this because it um, helps you to get the different textures and tones uh, in your drawing as well. And don't forget also, uh, in a couple of months, we've got our tutorial. It's a pretty ex extensive tutorial coming out on uh, how to video yourself and all the things that are required if you want to eventually take your own show, which is possible. It's, it's, there's a little bit of work involved in it, I have to be honest, but it's exactly what I did. I started an idea many years ago and then Went through all the processes to get it to public television, then onto networks, which was not easy, but I did do it. Uh, but we're going to show you how to do those things and how to film, and how to do Zoom classes as well. Um, so that uh, you can uh, tell more people who you are and what you do. One of the most important things that you can do in your art career is to tell your story. It is vitally important. Uh, I mean, you may be a brilliant artist, but people that purchase artwork want to know about your story, who you are, what you do, where you come from. As you can see, that's all sort of ruffled up, which I quite enjoy. Sort of um, unknown, we call them mistakes, but just an unknown techniques as you go along. As you can see, I can sort of start to refine bits and pieces in the areas. Uh, remembering how on here actually goes. A lot of the time you can just sort of have reference photos or if you're doing a portrait, feel your own ears. Find out where everything goes. Even there's a little edge as it goes around. Must have been not as steady as I used to be, but there's always that line there. Is it would be a tree or a limb or an arm or anything, but you can just see that they're coming around there like so.
this one there. Uh, so once again, I mean, that area there is just the same as this area here. So you're always going to see a little bit of reflection underneath, particularly when you get into areas like this. And you're actually letting shadow or the color do the work for you and express the shape of what you have there. Yeah, so some of the other things that I'll be showing you as we go along is how to create composition using photos and sketches and mapping all of that out. It's really very interesting. Uh, there's a couple of artists that we've filmed that actually do that themselves, Helen Norton and Angela Walker. Uh, they do a great job of um, making up. Carol Foster's another one. I mean, literally sort of starting from an idea from scratch and, you know, you just over said over-exaggerating certain aspects of this. But it's fun to do, it's uh, using your imagination to take you to another place. There's a few of my other pictures that I've done that I've put together out of my head that sort of we're showing up right now. Even the big one I did called The Truth. It took me months to do, it took me months just to work out the, the form of it and uh, putting down all the mathematics that go with it as well. That was a labour of love, that one. So, so all I'm doing is just sort of considering what would normally be present in a human being's mouth and then over accentuating everything. With this guy here you're going to have cracks in his lips because he's He's a little old as well. And as I said, these are only would only be draft sketches for other things that you would need to do. And so the more you accentuate that area there, the more he gets that mischievous a grin on his face as we go along. Now just to work on the last bits of this, just using a, uh, is that a 3B? I'm going blind as well but for this I don't need the glasses. If I was going to get more detail I would. As you can see by some of the paintings that have been screened up of the fantasy work that I have done, um, which I do enjoy doing because you can tell great stories. This isn't too, you know, once again just using your imagination. Even looking at you know, your own lips in the mirror, uh, your dad's, your son, your daughter, your mum, your partner. Get our, uh, our other pencil here. This is the um, coloured pencil that I'm using. Well, it's, it's a coloured pencil, but it's black, of course. As you can see, I'm sort of really not focused on one particular area, particularly when you're putting drafts together like this. And I'm sort of all over the place, sort of what takes my, what takes my whimsy at the time. But as you can see by some of the other pieces that have been put up, uh, you can get very carried away with your imagination and uh, I love doing that. Uh, there's a couple of pieces there that you know whether it be about music or about folklore or ancient mythology um, you can put together
together these wonderful stories. And characters, of course, like this guy here. And what I reckon, seeing he's pretty old, and this is just using artistic license again, is that this guy would have chunks out of his ears like you get out of an old whale or a shark or something. And he'd, he'd have bits and pieces missing out of his ears. Now, as I said before, if you uh, want some information on this other tutorial that we've got coming out, which is on how to um, video, how to do Zoom classes, how to do a lot of the things involved with what we do as far as production is concerned, and then sort of we're breaking it down to be a lot easier for you. You can um, leave your details at the bottom of the um, of the page, and we can put you into our system. And when that's done, uh, we can get in touch. Learn how to film yourself, which is pretty cool, and learn everything else that goes with it. And then, as I said, if you want to know more about the imagination side of things, just put that down as well. Because I love my fans, and all the wonderful people that support Colour in Your Life, what I will do is, when I have finished this, once again, if you want to leave your details, your email in the YouTube page, sorry, went a bit blank there. What I will do is we will pick out a person, we'll have a draw, and I'll send this to them in the mail so that they can uh, have one of my bizarre pictures. And if I was to go back and utilize this drawing for its best ability, best situation, on doing a lot of sketch. You know, these would be hairs, they would be fine, like in a, in a beard. I would be putting undercoats down, building it up, putting some glazes over the top to drop it back a little bit further in certain areas. Um, like I said, this is just a, a draft that you could make up. Fun to do, don't take too long. Get those little dried lips. He needs some lip balm of some sort to be sure, to be sure this looks a bit like a, a uh, an old salty sea dog from out of one of those 16th century movies fascinating stuff I wonder what it was like back in those days what was an explorer I mean, what you can do in a situation like this would be to look up on the net or in some books. I have a quite a large library of books, and I go in there and I would look up fashion design or old ships or leprechauns or whatever it is, other people's interpretation of. No idea when you're drawing as well as it. I'm not doing it at the moment because of the camera, but to actually move the page around or the, the sketch pad as much as you possibly can. And then just sort of, particularly so that you don't forget, always pinpoint, particularly if you're doing drawings like this and they're just off the cuff, um, don't forget where your light's coming from because images can look quite flat. If, uh, if people do that, but it, you just about see it all the time, it doesn't matter where it is, people, if they're taking pictures or photos with a flash or something like that, which is sort of a bit of a no-no sometimes, they, you'll find that they can be extremely flat. You can always tell when somebody's actually uh, drawn an image or even painted an image from a, fo from a photograph with a flash, it just looks dull and there's no source of light, it, it sort of can use the character of the picture and of the subject that you're painting. Okay, there it is. Leprechaun. I'll just hold it up for you. <laughs> it's a bit bizarre, isn't it? But that is the sort of thing that you can do pretty well straight out of your imagination. And as I said, I'll be taking people through with all of the pictures that you actually saw on this particular video and this one I don't think is probably going to go to TV by any means, it's just going to be one for YouTube. But if you want to leave your details in the YouTube site, if you want to know more about 
the tutorial on how to video yourself and how to do Zoom classes and we're putting all of that together in one package. It's going to be pretty phenomenal and really, really help you guys out to, to get through. I mean, the, the, the information's out there, but it's just a, it's a field, it's a minefield of getting to know or getting to the information that you actually need to do what you want to do. And then as I go along, <clears throat> I'll be showing you guys how to put um, these images together, these surrealist fantasy images as well. They are complex, they do take some time to do, uh, and I'm just working on one at the moment. Um, sometimes you just got to sit and think, that's the best way to do it. But I hope you enjoyed it. Give him a name as well, and leave your details, and we'll get to you soon. Thank you.